Much games. Once upon a time, a little girl was playing in the forest when a pixie appeared. Curious, the little girl followed the pixie toward an abandoned castle. As they approached, the pixie explained that the castle was once the home of a young, beautiful princess, but an evil curse had been cast upon it. To return the castle to its former glory, a very special girl would have to undertake an enchanted journey across magical lands, helping princesses in need. By helping these princesses, the spell would be broken and the castle would be beautiful once more. And now, the story begins. Wow! This place is so big and so beautiful. Wait, don't you remember this room? I don't think so. Hmm. Do you remember your name? Enter your name here. Thank goodness! I'm so glad you remembered your name! Me too! Now, do you remember what you used to look like? No. I don't remember at all. Not to worry. Just follow me to the mirror. Come on, we can even pick out a new dress for you! This is where you can come anytime you'd like to change your dress, your hairstyle, your shoes, and all sorts of other things. we are. To pick a new dress, point the Wii remote at the screen and move your cursor over each dress. See how your dress changed? Once you've selected your dress, move your cursor to the A button located in the right corner and press A. Now if you want to change the color of your dress, move the cursor across the colors. See? It's easy! You can continue looking at all the options by pressing the A button in the right corner. Oh yeah, and don't forget, you can turn around in the mirror by moving the cursor over the arrows underneath the mirror.
that dress looks so pretty on you. Thanks. Uh, is there anything else you're supposed to tell me? Well, you have a big journey ahead. But all along the way, I'll be here to save your adventure. So whenever you see this icon, it means your adventure is being saved. Great. Now there's one really important thing I need to give you. Your magic wand. Wow! I get a wand? It's beautiful! Now, this wand has very special powers and will help you on your journey. Come on! Let's go to the throne room and I'll show you how to use your magical wand. While you're on your journey, you'll come across lots of little green creatures known as bogs. They look pretty harmless, but these troublemakers are responsible for all the bad stuff that's been happening at the castle. Now, the bogs are actually captured butterflies who've been forced to cause mischief. And only your wand can set the butterflies free. I understand, but how does it work? Well, there are two ways to release the butterflies. You can cast magic from your wand, or cover a whole area with magic. Do you want to skip the lessons? Along the way, there will be lots of people and objects you can interact with. They'll all have a Z button floating above them. So whenever you see the Z button appear over someone or something, walk up and press the Z button on the nunchuck to interact with them. Well, are you ready to give it a try? Sure, I'm ready. Press the Z button on the nunchuck. Great job. Now, why don't you try practicing? You can talk to the villager and interact with the other things in this room. Just come back here when you're done. Hello there. Hello there. Okay, to cast magic from your wand, Swing the Wii Remote up and down. Got it! Swing the Wii Remote up and down to cast magic. Wow! You're a fast learner! Now go ahead and cast your magic on those bogs. I'll be right here when you're ready to keep going. Let's try a blast of magic. Point the Wii Remote straight up for a moment and then swing down. You'll see the magic flood out all across the ground. Okay. Point the Wii Remote straight up for a second and swing down. You're doing really well. Now you can practice a blast of magic on those bogs. I'll meet you back here when you're done. Excellent work. Now it's time for me to show you one last power hidden in your wand. The ability to use magic to undo the bog's mess. Really? Uh-huh. It's as simple as swinging the Wii Remote. Why don't you try it? Swing the Wii Remote left and right to use your magic. Swing the Wii Remote left and right to use your magic. That's perfect. Now you can practice your magic on the items in this room. Don't forget to come back here when you're done. Excellent! You're a very fast learner, which is good because we have to keep going. Now, during your adventure, you might find places where you need to jump. If you do, just press the A button. Press the A button to jump. That's it! Now you're ready to start your adventure. Look! Those gems are leading up the stairs. I think we should follow them.
is the forbidden area of the castle where its greatest secrets lie. It may look old and dusty, but if you use your wand on those controls in the middle of the room, I think you'll find a surprise. It's a smooth ride to the bottom from here. Well, here we are. Go ahead and look around. These are secret portals to the worlds of the princesses. The bogs you saw earlier are causing trouble in all of them. Your challenge is to help the princesses within each world. Once all the princesses' kingdoms are safe, our castle and our world will be restored. You can visit any one of the princess worlds in any order. Each of them has three chapters. You'll have to complete all three chapters to save the entire kingdom. When you're about to visit a princess world, the magical portal will have a small sign by the painting. The sign will tell you if that world is easy, medium, or hard. So be careful. Some of the worlds can get pretty tough. Choose a princess and press the A button to enter her world. Don't forget, Ariel's world is a good place to start. Jasmine's world is a fun place to visit, but it's a little tougher. Cinderella's world is rather difficult, but I know you can do it. And Snow White's world is very tough. Be sure you're ready for it. What is wrong? My tambourine won't play any sound. Yeah, none of these instruments work anymore. Those nasty bog creatures put a spell on our musical instruments. Oh, what are we going to do? Something is very strange here. Why won't the sailors' instruments make any sound? Yes, it is strange, but maybe you can fix it. Try waving your wand. I'm sure your magic will help these sailors get their sound back. Silent sailors. Return sound to the sailors' musical instruments. My tambourine, it plays music again. Listen, it's such a lovely sound. Thank you, young lady. All right, men, here we go. <coughs> a one, and a two, and a four, and an eight. Oops, I mean, a, a one, and a two, and a three. for coming to talk to me. My name's Ariel. <gasps> You're a 
Mermaid! <laughs> That's right! A mermaid! Oh, and I'm really glad you helped those sailors get their music back. You see, that's why I came up to the surface. The sailors aren't the only ones who've lost musical sounds. All the music is gone from the kingdom I live in. Oh, do you think you could help us? I'd like to, but I don't think I can go with you underwater. Don't worry, just use your magic. It will let you breathe underwater. Wow! Then I guess I can help. I can bring the music back under the sea. Oh, thank you. Oh, everyone will be so happy. Now, come on, follow me. the secret cave with Ariel. This way! Sebastian! To help free Sebastian from the Lady Octopus, you'll have to point your Wii Remote at the tentacle as it appears, and then press the A button. Sebastian will grab the tentacle if you're correct. Once the meter on the top is full, the Lady Octopus will set him free. The Octopus. Help Sebastian free himself from the octopus. Octopus likes you. <clears throat> yes, well, I don't have time for games. There is an urgent matter I must attend to. All of the musical sounds in the kingdom are distorted, or they are lost altogether. On top of that, strange creatures are here threatening us and the peace of our undersea world. I know. That's why I'm here. Ariel and I are trying to find out what's going on. Would you like to join us? Of course, just lead the way. I keep all the human treasures I've collected. We should be safe here from those creatures who've stolen the musical sounds from the whole kingdom. Oh, they've even taken the singing voices from the mer people. And not being able to sing? Well, it's making everyone so sad. Now that's why I need your help. Now, if you could do Whoa! Ah! Hey! What's that? Whoa! Oh no, my collection. All those creatures must be here. Oh, I don't want all my human things to fall. 
You can save Ariel's collection if you catch each one before it reaches the ground. Sebastian will help and move the bucket back and forth for you. When you see bubbles appear around a treasure, that one's about to drop. The meter on the top will fill up as you get closer to saving all the items. Save the souvenirs. Catch Ariel's treasures from the human world. such good friends. I'm just glad I could help. But now that the treasures are safe, I think we should find out what's causing this mess. Great that you're here. Lots of musical sounds are still missing from the sea. Do you think you could use your map? I wanted to thank you again for saving my collection. <laughs> I just love learning about the human world. So these treasures, they really help me. I'm just glad I could help. But now that the treasures are safe, I think we should find out what's causing this mess. Help! Ariel! We need your help! <laughs> the whole music class is on a field trip with Sebastian, but we all got separated. And Ariel, if we don't get back to the coral together, something bad could happen. Hey, don't worry. I'll help. And I'm sure everyone will be okay. Uh-oh. I promised my father I'd be home soon. And if I'm late again, he's gonna be really angry. Oh, what should I do? I'll help the student crabs, Ariel. You will? Oh, thank you. You're the best! I'm happy to do it. Besides, how could anyone turn down a cute little crab like you? I'll meet you at the coral reefs. Are here, we got to get my star students into the coral where they'll be safe from those music stealing menaces. You can use your magic on each crab so they'll run into the coral and be safe from the bars. As you save them, the meter on the top left will start to fill up. When it's full, all the students will be saved. Take care of the student crabs. Guide the young crabs to safety. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, young lady. My students, they are very dear to me and very important to the music I compose. So, thank you again for saving them. Help! Somebody help! The bogs, they stole the singing voices from a whole village of mer people, and they're tossing the voices into this big pit. Come on, we have to hurry! Flounder will have to work together, and quickly. If you show Flounder which way to go, he'll catch the orbs. Just watch the bubbles. They'll appear right before an orb is dropped. That's the sign for Flounder to move the basket underneath the orb. The meter on the top will fill up as you get closer to catching all of the orbs. Save the voice orbs. Catch the mer people's voice orbs before they fall into the abyss. Together, I just know we'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Now, if we can find out why they stole the conch shell, maybe that'll help us bring the music back to the sea. you're back. I found out why those creatures took the conch shell. They stole the sound that belongs inside it. Because this conch shell controls the music of the entire ocean. And if we don't fix it, there'll never be music in the ocean again. That's horrible. And I'm not gonna let it happen. I love this place and everybody here. But how are we going to get the sound back? Oh, don't worry, Flounder. We can put some new musical sounds into it. <laughs> Sebastian is getting ready for a concert at the lagoon right now. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go. Meet with Sebastian. Find Sebastian at the lagoon. Thank you. 
the school of little crabs went? Sebastian. He's at the other end of the lagoon. I have the conch shell, Sebastian. But how do we put the sound back? With one of my new compositions, I'm gonna remind this shale what beautiful music sounds like. But first, I got to make sure everyone is in tune. To help Sebastian tune the band, point your Wii remote at the group of animals and quickly tap the A button. By pressing the A button really fast, the bar will start to fill up. Once the bar is filled, everyone will be in tune. Tune up the band. Tap a button to help the chorus get in tune. from the ducks, point your Wii remote at the ducks and press the A button. If you see notes coming from the ducks and then the frogs, point your Wii remote at the ducks and press the A button. Then point your Wii remote at the frogs and press the A button. Watch the pattern carefully. Once you've successfully repeated five patterns, the conch shell will be restored. The concert. Help Sebastian read the chorus in a song. I have played in years. It's the kind of music that only comes when you put all your heart into it. Ah, to hear music once again, it makes my heart swim. Wow, that was so cool. You were great, Sebastian. And so were you. <laughs> Thank you for all your help. Oh, now that we have our music back, oh, I know everyone in the ocean will be happy again. I'm afraid it's time to go. There's more work for us to do. Okay, but I'm gonna miss everyone so much. Well, you'll come and visit us again, won't you? Of course. And while I'm gone, I'll always have the song we need together in my heart. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> See you soon.
Oh no! It looks like colors have been taken from this land. Trees and houses and even people have been changed. But I know you can help. In this world, your magic wand will control color. It's like the land is canvas for you to paint. Let's see what color choices you have. First is red, like cardinals and roses. Second is green, nature's favorite color. And last is blue, like rivers, waterfalls, and the sky. Oh, look at that lock. Perhaps we should take a closer look. of Snow White's. I don't think he talks, though. <laughs> Maybe he never tried. <laughs> hmm. It looks like the bog locked the gate. I wonder if my magic can fix it. The mysterious gate. Unlock the gate with your magic. You're missing. If you'd like, I could try and use my magic wand to fix some more things. Would you? Oh, thank you. We just need to go outside. Oh, 
much better. Now let's see. The wheelbarrows and the birdhouse are black and white too. Could you please paint them all a lovely shade of blue? are missing their green color, and so is Dopey's nice clean shirt. Could you please paint them green? Oh, don't worry, Dopey. Our new friend will make it all better. Appeared. They've been having a little trouble working together. Don't worry. I'll go check on them. Would you? Oh, that would be very nice. If you don't know your way, the path is to the left when you get to the forest. Friends of mine, find your way to the mine to meet Snow White's friends.
just no working with him. Gosh. <laughs> Hello there, ma'am. I hope you can excuse my manners. My friends and I just had a little disagreement. It seems everybody in the mine is out of sorts. Grumpy, and you met Dopey and Happy already. We're trying to join some mems, uh, uh, um, mine some gems, but we seem to be having trouble working together today. Dopey thought maybe you could help us. Mining game. Help the dwarfs work together as a team. Grumpy, Dopey, and Happy need your help to work together again. They'll show you a work pattern, watch carefully, and then repeat the pattern by pointing the Wii remote at the dwarf who was working and press the A button. If you can help them complete five patterns, they'll be able to work on their own. But if you make a mistake, you'll have to start over. Everybody working together. Why, that's music to my tears. Uh, gears, uh, well, oh, that sounds swell. Now, we just have to find a mine cart to load up these gems. A steady beat. Help Happy and Grumpy get the cart up the hill. Grumpy and Happy are having some more trouble. To get the mine cart up the hill, they have to work together in a steady rhythm. You can help them by pointing your Wii remote at one of the dwarfs and pressing the A button. Then point at the other dwarf and press the A button. You'll have to alternate pointing at each dwarf until you've filled up the game bar. That was mighty nice teamwork. <laughs> Just like old times, huh, Grumpy? <laughs> <laughs> now, ma'am, could you help Doc and Dopey work together, too?
You've been such a help. We were hoping you could help us gather the gems now. Of course. What would you like me to do? Well, you see, it's dopey over there. Sometimes he has bubble, and I'd be out of trouble telling the difference between a gem and a rock. Could you help him gather the gems into his bucket? Doc and Dopey have to work together to collect the gems, but they'll need your help. Doc will toss different stones down the slide, and you can help Dopey catch them. Not every stone is a gem, so help Dopey collect only the sparkling blue gems and avoid the rocks. Every gem you catch will add a little bit to your game bar, but every rock that lands in your basket will decrease it. Good luck! Catch the gems. Help Dopey catch the blue gems. We couldn't have done it without you. Ain't that right, Grumpy? <sighs> Don't know what came over us. We never had trouble working together before. Well, whatever it was, we know better now. That's right. When you work together with friends, you always get more work done. You still ain't got it right, don't we? You have to sort the gems by color. You just don't know what's gotten into you these days. Oh, <laughs> pardon me. Hello, my dear. Seems we're behind schedule again. Dopey keeps making mistakes. And well, at this rate, we'll never get home before park. Uh, I mean, before dark. You were so helpful the last time. Do you think you could help us again? Sure, what can I do? Doc and Dopey must work together to sort the gems. Doc will toss gems down the slide, and Dopey will move the wooden chute left and right to guide them into the right color cart. But Dopey's having trouble sorting today, so he'll need your help. Each correctly sorted gem will add one point to your game mark. There are lots of different gems to sort, but I know you'll have fun working with the dwarves. Gem sorting. Help Dopey sort the gems into the right carts.
gosh, I I'm sorry I was so harsh with you earlier, Dopey. Will you forgive me? Oh, that's grand. Now, we better get home before we miss supper. Let's go back to the cottage and tell Snow White that the dwarfs are working together. Return to the cottage. Go back to the cottage to speak to Snow White. to the cottage to speak to Snow White. my magic wand to make things right. Thank you. You're a very good friend. Oh, and in case you didn't know, the grove is to the right when you leave the cottage. The missing colors. Find your way to the grove. Red wand for the red wand, the green wand for the green wand, 
and the blue wand for the blue ball. Remember, to change the color of your wand, use your magic while standing on one of the color scrolls. You'll probably have to defeat all of the balls to stop them from taking the forest's colors. A color frenzy. Defeat all the balls by using different colors of magic. all the way out here. <laughs> Maybe Snow White knew I need your help, Grumpy. Those bogs made a mess of things by stealing colors from the animals and from the grove. I can fix them, but I don't know what color everything should be. Do you remember? Hmm. Them mushrooms and butterflies ought to be red. But I'm gonna have to think about the rest. Go on and fix them red things and then find me. Color the grove. Paint the objects that are missing color. Plants ought to be green. Same for those lazy turtles. I'll puzzle out the rest of it while you take care of them. Finished already, eh? Well then, flowers ought to be blue. Same for them full twitter twitching birds.
as you're here, something very sad has happened. Those strange creatures have taken the colors from the rainbow. My friends have gone to the top of this hill. You'll see them by the rainbow. Don't worry, Snow White. I'll go see if I can fix it. Glad to see you, my dear. We need your help. Somebody stole the rainbow color. Don't see what all the fuss is about. It's fine to me. No, it don't, Grumpy. Why look around? Everything's dull and gray, and it's all caused the rainbow lost its colors. Now, if we're gonna fix it, we gotta run of the rainbow. Uh, color the rainbow. How are we gonna do that? Well, I think the culprits who took the rainbow's colors scattered them about. We gotta find them and bring them back here. But where do we start? I don't know about the rest of the colors, but I saw some colorful red magic back in mine. Oh, I'm sure cats are through. Uh-oh, that's a blue. That's a clue. Will you help us, team? Why, of course. Friends always help each other. <laughs> Thank you. Think things look just fine. Colorless rainbow. Get back all the colors of the rainbow. the color red back. <laughs> Ooh, and the princess sent me to tell you there's some powerful blue magic in the forest. And maybe that's where you can find the color blue. You can count on me.
strange creatures about. You best be careful. <laughs> the color blue. Well, that's wonderful. Now, all that's left is green. Don't be saw some mighty green over in the grove. Would you hurry there? I'm on my way. the green. Suppose that'll help. And I'm warning you, you better get back to the rainbow and fix it before something else gets broke. Don't worry, Grumpy. I'll go right there. Thank you. 
looks like time has been frozen throughout this land. Animals, people, even objects have been affected. But don't worry, your magic will let you unfreeze time. One touch from your wand will put things back to normal. Maybe you should use your magic on these mice. Their names are Jack and Gus, and they're very good friends of Cinderella's. Look at that! A girl! That's right, I am a girl. Are you two okay? It looks like you were frozen in time. Such a Meanie Greenies get some mice mice! Now Flinderelli never gets some Mary. Oh no! Why not? Why can't Cinderella get Mary? Mice mice too scared to deliver invitation! Maybe I can help. I'd be happy to deliver the invitations for you. Oh, that's a nice nice. <laughs> Mail call. Place an invitation in each mailbox around the town. Many thanks, young lady. I'd like to give you these gems to say thank you. Gus will need your help to get to the castle, so be sure to stay close and don't let the bogs block their way. Escort the mice. Protect Jack and Gus from the bogs. from the boss. Please take these gems as a token of my gratitude. Oh, 
hello there. I'm Cinderella. Thank you so much for helping my friends. You're welcome. I'm just glad I could help. Do you know what happened, though? Why is everyone frozen? Well, I suppose it must have something to do with the creatures that appeared a few hours ago. Ever since then, time has been acting strangely throughout the kingdom. Oh, if I can't get it fixed, I'll have to postpone my wedding. <laughs> no ready? Why, friend of Ellie? It's the farmer, Jack. He was supposed to deliver the food for the wedding, but no one's seen or heard from him in quite some time. If you'd like, I could go see him for you. Oh, would you? That would be such a help. His farm is to the right of the forest, just outside of town. Oh, I do hope you can find the farmer in time for the wedding. young lady. I'd like to give you these to shrink it back to regular size. Protect the pumpkins. Save the farmer's crop from the bogs.
did it! Yeah! Oh, thank you for saving my crop, young lady. Now that my farm is safe, I can finally deliver the food for Cinderella's wedding. I'm so glad to see you. Time is still acting strangely all over the kingdom. If you <laughs> it's a nice girl. <laughs> Please, nice girl, have a nice night. Zuck, Zuck, Asa needs a help. Flinderelli had an old house looking for fairy god money. But Flinderelli done too wrong. We should go to the manor and check on Cinderella. That's a good idea. How do I get to the manor, Jack? Yes, a forest. That's good to do. Have to unlock a gate. No, no, forest scary. Oh, Gus, there's nothing to be afraid of. I'll take you to the gate. Wait for me near the forest entrance, okay? Uh, yeah, Gus, Gus, wait. Hey, Gus, Gus, meet a girl at forest. Gus will be much less frightened if you guard him on the way to the manor. Just stay close and keep the bogs away. Once you get there, Gus will open the gate for you. Guard Gus. Protect Gus from the bogs in the forest.
Don't forget to stay close and help Gus. Valley up a path. Bye bye, nice girl. Return to the castle. Well, I'm very glad they did. I certainly needed your help. Those creatures stopped me before I could find my fairy godmother. I can help you look for her. Do you know where she might be? I think she's by the wishing well outside the kitchen. She's by the wishing well outside the kitchen. Oh dear, it seems the kitchen door's been sealed with magic. Well, we'll have to fix that if we're going to find my fairy godmother. Hmm, now that's strange. This clock is the only one in the manor that's telling the correct time. I wonder... If we fix the other three clocks, perhaps that will break the magic seal on the door. Okay. This clock is set to 12. Clock confusion. Reset the clocks to their proper time. should be just outside the kitchen.
from the wishing well, and each coin is a wish someone made. You can get the coins back from the box if you use your magic. Then just pick up the coins, and that will return them to the well. Coin collecting. Get the coins back from the box. you again. I'm sure everyone who's made a wish at this well will be very glad you put the coins back. Here she is. This is my fairy godmother. Oh, hello, fairy godmother. It's nice to meet you. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you too, child. I'm so glad we found you. I'm afraid the kingdom is in terrible trouble. Time is frozen everywhere and everything's standing still. <gasps> oh, dear. That is most troubling indeed. But don't you worry, I'll get to the bottom of this at once. I'm so glad to see you. Time is still acting strangely all over the kingdom. If you could... Godmother's doing in the clock tower. I guess I should go see her. Troubles. There are three cogs missing from this clock. Oh, but what's a cog? Oh, well, uh, do you see that, um, the round, uh, that, that thing right there? That's a cog. They make the clock tower tick, and without them, <laughs> time is frozen. Well, I'd like to help. Do you know where I can find more cogs? Oh, dear me, I'm afraid I don't. But perhaps Cinderella does. She should be at the manor. Don't worry, you can count on me. Find Cinderella at the manor. Ask Cinderella about the cogs.
Thank you for returning. We could certainly use your help again. You see, we still haven't solved the problem with time. I know, but I think we found a clue. Your fairy godmother discovered that the clock tower is missing some cogs. And she thinks that might be why time is frozen. Do you know where I could find three cogs to fix the clock? Well, you might try looking in the attic. There are all sorts of things like that there. If you go to the attic, you might find the pieces missing from the clock tower. Find the cog. Look for the cog at the manor. I wonder where that cog could be. I know Gus and Jack like to hide things. go visit the farm next. You never know what the farmer might have. If you hurry, you can save my pear tree. You just need to use that basket to catch the okay. pears. Okay, but how exactly do I do that? Here, I'll show you. Remember any sign of mice mice? Mice mice help! Tuk -tuk. These little mice can move the basket left and right for you. Now, the trick to catching pears is to watch for falling leaves. That means a pear is just about to drop. Then, you quickly move the basket under the leaves, like so. There are lots of pears in this tree, so be sure to catch them all. Falling pears. Catch the pears for the farmer.
years. Oh, I wish there was some way I could repay you. Say, I don't suppose this cog the bogs left behind would be of any use to you, would it? Actually, it would. Thank you. Now that I have three cogs, I need to get back to the clock tower.
treasure is mine! Get away! I know you're trying to steal it from me! It's mine, I tell you! Mine! <laughs> I saw it first! It's mine! Like the people in this world don't trust each other. It must be because of those mirage treasures. Your magic wand has the power to reveal the truth. One twirl of your wand will undo any mirage and show its true form. That will restore people's trust in one another. Why don't you try it on this cart of gold? Reveal what's in the cart. Use your magic on the cart of gold. It's not real gold. It's it's just a pile of dirt. Oh, I am so ashamed, my friend. I can't believe I was blinded by the treasure and forgot about our friendship. <gasps> Me too, my friend. Thank you for showing us the truth, young lady. You did great. Now follow me to the palace. Princess Jasmine. Go to the palace to meet Princess Jasmine. Oh, I thank you for revealing the truth. Oh, I never should have. I will not be dishonest again. That I promise. Excuse me, are you Princess Jasmine? Oh, I didn't hear you come in. But yes, I am Princess Jasmine. Oh, I'm so glad you're not a mirage. All of Agrabah is covered with them. You see, people no longer trust each other. They lie and fight over unreal images of gold and treasures. I'm so worried. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe I can help. Do you think you can? I'm not sure, but I'll do my best to help the people of Agrabah be honest and trustworthy. Oh, thank you. I know my friend Abu could assist you, but I'm afraid you'll have to find him first. He's probably in the marketplace, and I'm pretty sure he's up to no good. Don't worry, I'll find your friend Abu. to return that Mirage gem. Abu's very fast. You may have to find him a few times before you finally catch him. I know he loves fruit, especially watermelon and apples, so be sure to check the fruit stands around the bazaar. I'll do my best to help you. Good luck. Hide and seek. Find Abu in the marketplace. 
Jam. Now, Abu, you have to learn to be honest. How can I trust you if you don't give back the gem? See, it's not even real. It was just a mirage. Come on, let's go see Princess Jasmine. Return to the palace. Princess Jasmine is waiting for you. the truth with this. My Abu was actually a goose. <laughs> that means your Abu is the real one. Well, Abu, I'm glad you're back, and I hope you'll stay out of trouble for a while. Thank you for finding him. You're welcome, Princess. But the goose wasn't the only mirage. They're all over Agrabah, and they're making people mistrust each other. I know. It's terrible. That's why I'm so glad you're here to help. you came back. There's something I know only you can help me with. You see, I overheard someone say that the Mirage treasures are coming from the Cave of Wonders. Abu knows the way, and I was hoping you could follow him and find out what's causing all the trouble. I'd be happy to go. Oh, thank you. Now, please hurry. Abu is outside the desert gate waiting for you. Meet Abu. Go to the desert. Abu is waiting. I'm gonna go, 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 I'm g
Boo, what are you doing? We're supposed to be going to the Cave of Wonders. Abu gets easily distracted by treasures, and there are a lot of them on the way to the Cave of Wonders. You'll have to fix the mirages quickly to make sure Abu doesn't forget about the quest. When you reach the Cave of Wonders, Abu will show you how to get through the gate. Hurry, and good luck! Escort Abu. Use your magic on the mirages. thought were great treasures were really just piles of dirt. If you had listened to me, we could have gotten here a lot sooner. Oh. It's okay, Abu. You're still my friend. Come on, let's go inside. bogs and return the treasure before the whole place collapses. You must defeat all the bogs and return the treasure they stole to prevent the Cave of Wonders from collapsing. Those pesky bogs are really fast, so you'll have to be quick. Return the treasure. Defeat all the bogs and pick up the dropped treasure. the lamp. When the light is green, go. But when it's red, stop. Guardian monkeys, beware of the red light. Green light, go. Red light, stop. Green light, go. Red light, stop. Green light, go! I've got it, Abu! Come on, let's bring this back to Princess Jasmine.
glad you're here. I'm afraid the lamp from the Cave of Wonders was a mirage. The real one was taken away by genie bogs. But I can't go look for it until I get these royal geese back into their pen. If you'll help me, I know we'll get it done quickly. I'll try my best. I bet if I use my magic, we can get all six geese into the pen. Use your magic to put all the geese back in their pen. I'll try my best. I bet if I use my magic, we can get all six geese into the pen. Geese herding. Herd the geese into their pen. create mirage bogs. You'll have to be really careful because mirage bogs can hurt you. But if you defeat all the genie bogs, their mirages will go away. And remember to collect the lamps that the genie bogs drop when they're defeated. Genie bogs. Defeat the genie bogs and pick up the dropped lamps. you got here, Abu. You need to tell us, have you ever seen these lamps before? They came from the Cave of Wonders? Well, we should go put them back. That might fix everything. Cave of Wonders. Go to the Cave of Wonders. to do with the lamps? Hmm. I think we should try placing them on those pedestals. <coughs> oh, do you want to place the lamps, Abu? Uh -huh. Okay, Abu. I trust you, but we have to work together to place the first lamp. 
A boo will hold up a colored lamp. Point your Wii remote at one of the pedestals and the A button will appear. Match the color of the lamp to the same colored pedestal using the Wii remote cursor. So if you want to place the green lamp on the green pedestal, point your Wii remote at the green pedestal and press the A button. Once all the lamps are correctly placed, the mirages should disappear for good. Magic lamps. Return the magic lamps to their proper places. Wonderful! Thank you! Agraba should now be free of the bog's magic, and the mirages should all be gone. People will see that they can be honest and trustworthy again. <laughs> yes, Abu, you were a very big help. Thank you. Please do visit us again soon. Finding a friend to trust is a true treasure. Thank you, Princess Jasmine. I'm afraid it's time to go. There's more work for us to do. Okay. Goodbye. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Did you see that bog running into the throne room? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I am Zara. And you must be the annoying little girl my bogs have told me about. How do you know about the bogs? Are you the one causing all this trouble? No, I most certainly am. But, but why are you doing this? <laughs> it's an interesting tale, actually. You see, once upon a time, I too was born a princess. But I refused to learn all those silly princess virtues. And just for that, I was banished from my kingdom. But soon, I discovered I had special powers. Powers I could use to ruin the worlds of other princesses. And best of all, I can stop any girl from becoming a princess. If I can't be a princess, why should anyone else get to be one? <laughs> It's time, my bogs! Steal her voice! <laughs> What's wrong? Mm -mm -mm. Oh no! Zara must have stolen your voice! If you're going to get it back, you'll have to destroy all those bogs. Use your magic to free the sound notes they've stolen. Once you defeat all the bogs and gather up the sound notes, your voice will return. Oh, good luck! Oh, 
That did not go as I planned. Now let's see how you do without your wand to save you. Box, freeze her! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'll be needing that anymore! Your wand! Well, that was a dirty trick. But don't worry, if I can catch all the pieces in this basket, I can use my magic to fix your wand. Again? Well, I won't stand for it. Box, steal the colors from this world. <laughs> Uh-oh. It looks like Zara's summoning the color box to steal the colors from the castle. If they succeed, Zara will have even more power. Hurry, you have to stop the color box before they steal all the colors. Okay. But how do I do that? You have to use your magic to defeat them. But your magic will only work if it's the same color as the bog. Remember, only red magic works on red bogs. Got it! I'll do my best. <laughs> take care of you myself. Zara is greatly weakened. She's calling on the genie box to help her defeat you. Oh no! What should I do? You have to defeat all the genie box. That will stop new mirages of Zara from appearing. This is your chance to use everything you've learned so far. If you do, I know you'll win and set everything right again. <laughs>
It's time to take your place as a true princess. You said I'm a princess? But... Oh, I remember now.
were those green creatures, Lumiere? Were they enchanted with the castle too? Oh, mademoiselle, I have never seen them before. They just appeared out of nowhere. Hmm. They do not seem harmful, but I would not want the master to see them. Who knows what he might do? Maybe we can make them go away before he finds out. Oh, someone else is here. Hello there. My name is Belle, and this is my friend Lumiere. Mademoiselle. It's nice to meet you both. I heard you talking about the bogs, and... Oh, do you know something about those strange creatures? Uh-huh, they're a real troublemaker. And they've been causing problems in lots of places. But I think I know how to make them go away. Shoot the Lord! You are a lifesaver! If you can get rid of those horrid little things, we would be most grateful. I think the bogs want to play a game of tag. They'll be it first and try to tag you with their magic. If you can keep away from them till your bar fills up, you'll win the game. But if a bog tags you, the bar will go down slowly until it's empty, and then you'll have to start over. If you're tagged it, just run towards a bog and cast your magic to tag them back. Good luck! Okay, I'll do my best. Tag a bog. Tag the box by using the magic. <laughs> Very nice of you to help us. Could you stay and visit for a while? We oui, Cherie. You must stay and be our guest. Oh, I'd love to. But I don't think I can just yet. I promise to come back and visit, though. Well, goodbye, then. And we'll see you soon. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Until we meet again. <laughs>